According to a media report, the proposed retrofit and upgrade of 85 out of 260 license-built Su-30 aircraft of the Indian Air Force to Super Shukhoi standard, was proposed to have been jointly executed by India's Hindustan Aeronautics and Russia's United Aircraft Corporation, but due to the Western sanctions imposed on Russia, the Indian Air Force has been forced to defer the Super Shukhoi program. It is to be noted, that India is already working to enhance the electronic warfare capability of the Su-30 under Project Navchakshu, that is being undertaken completely in-house. The deal for 12 more Su-30 aircraft worth over 20,000 crore rupees would also be delayed slightly, as India has asked to add more Made in India content in the aircraft as per the current policy of the government. French firm Safran had delivered the first lot of hammer standoff weapon to the Indian Air Force during the delivery of the first batch of Rafale fighter jets in 2020. During the recent Safran MRO launching ceremony in Hyderabad, Safran has informed that it has delivered 200 units of hammer weapons to the Indian Air Force, which was requested on an emergency basis due to the India-China standoff. The Indian Air Force had also placed orders for hammer weapon for its Tejas fighter jets in 2021, and Hindustan Aeronautics has already completed integration of hammer on the Tejas aircraft, and the test will be conducted soon. Israeli Aerospace Industries is close to clinch a deal for 67 surveillance drones that were floated by the Indian Army in April this year. The Wander B vertical takeoff and landing electric mini UAV of Israel has cleared the oral signature high temperature and damp tests, and has impressed army officials in the demonstration trials, and were found to be most effective along the Indo-Pak border. The request for information calls for this drone manufacturing location to be in India, so most likely the technology transfer will be done to a local Indian company. As the Indian Navy is all set to commission the second aircraft carrier INS Vikrant next month, intense debate has started on whether India needs more submarines or aircraft carriers. Reports suggest that the Indian Navy has readied the blueprint for another indigenous aircraft carrier, and a total of three carriers will ensure the availability of two active carriers, when one carrier is in maintenance. The Indian Army has initiated a series of measures to ensure that its new combat uniform is not misused. The Army is seeking a design patent for the new uniform, for preventing unauthorized sale of new combat uniform. Once the patent process is completed, any shopkeeper selling the new combat uniform without authorization will face legal actions and subsequent prosecution. After a gap of over four months, India and China are set to resume core commander level talks on the eastern Ladakh border on 17 July. The Chinese Air Force is undertaking an air defense exercise in the region, after which India has also intensified day and night air operations, 